movie opened on my MacBook Pro and I'm going to show you guys how to actually um, speed up a video and this is especially for my crafting mamas out there um, or for those of you who also do makeup tutorials or want to do makeup tutorials um, and want to learn how to actually be able to speed up a video or speed up some footage that you've taken um, along with um, doing a voiceover also. So I've already opened my file on iMovie and I've already set it up a new project here and I've done my um, title screen, my title um, clip, well two title clips actually and let me just run it through for you and you'll see I'm going to be posting this video as well. So I did my <clears throat> um, title clips and I actually have already my introduction clip right here um, and I will put the link for how to do the title clips up here, okay? Um, so after I do my introduction video, which is just kind of explaining what this video that I'm making is going to be about, um, I actually have some other clips that are rather lengthy that I want to speed up so that I can um, minimize the amount of time that the video is going to take, my actual finished project will take. And also, um, I didn't talk while doing this process video. So, um, you know, because I didn't talk, I want to speed it up so that I can actually add a voiceover. So let's go ahead and go here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this clip right here. Let me close out that. <clears throat> so you can see. So here is the next bunch of footage that I took and I'm going to double click on it and, it, and what it does is, is it highlights the entire um, 7 minutes and 5 seconds of footage that I shot um, in its entirety because I know that I want to use everything of it. I don't want to clip it down. I don't want to shorten it. I pretty much love everything that I shot in this footage, okay? So with my little Mickey Mouse glove, I'm going to take it and I'm going to pull it up into my project area. So now there it is, okay? And what it is, is it just kind of shows and you'll see um, how I, the tutorial in and of itself is really about how I made this um, bird cage pin cushion to put my stick pins in. And the bird cage was actually purchased from Michaels. So let me just show you a quick, a little bit of the footage that I just uploaded over here. Uh, let's see, here we go, okay. And so here we go, there's no talking in it whatsoever. Um, all I'm doing is just showing the things that you need for this project. So, you know, the list of um, supplies. Okay, so now, this in and of itself, this footage, this clip right here is seven minutes and four seconds. It definitely doesn't have to be that long. I wanna shorten it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click, oh, I'm going to hover my arrow right above this area right here and it sees see this pop-up little box right here it's a blue little box that looks like a little sun thingy and then a little arrow that points down well the arrow designates that it's actually a drop down um, menu so I'm going to click that and it's going to open up <clears throat> now what I want to do is there are a number of things on here okay and I don't want to use any of these well not any of these I don't want to use all of this I just want to use one and I want to go to clip adjustment and here we are, we're going to clip adjustment right here. Now, on this clip adjustment, there are three tabs up here. You don't want to miss with the video or audio just yet. We want to go to the clip, okay? So, we're going to make sure the clip is highlighted, which turns it a little bit of a soft gray. And right here, we're going to pay attention to this area that says speed. So, you can either go very slow or you can go very fast. You see the little turtle? The turtle means slow and the hare means fast, or the rabbit. Now I want to speed it up. Right now it's at 100% and 100% denotes the actual time of in real time footage, okay? I want to go a little higher. So let me see. So what was initially 7 minutes and 5 seconds, after I raised it up to 200%, which I sped it up, it comes down to 3 minutes and 31 seconds. I don't know that I need it to be that slow. So I'm going to go ahead and raise it up a little bit more because realistically speaking, all I'm doing is showing 
the supplies necessary, okay? So I can kind of go through that really quickly. So now I've actually sped it up a little bit more to 400%, and that cut down that three minutes and some odd seconds to now a minute and 45 seconds, okay? Which is excellent. I'm going to review this. Um just to see if that works or not, or if it's too fast, or if it's too slow, or what the deal is, okay? So now, when you're doing the speed thingy, you can either adjust it right here by the speed, by this little slider bar right here, or you can go in here and you can do it manually by just inputting numbers, okay? I just did it like this because I'm lazy, and it's easy. And I'm all about easy stuff that doesn't take too much time because I don't have a lot of time, and I know you mamas out there, you guys don't have a lot of time either. And so let's just get this, make it simple and quick and simple and pain-free. That's my model. Okay, so now we're going to go back up here. I clicked OK and we're going to review this. And we're just going to make sure that it is going at a rate that is manageable, that people can still see what the heck I'm talking about. And I can add a voice over after this um, that I don't have to talk super fast because <laughs> you don't want to have to rush through something. Okay, so if in fact you speed up a video and you feel like it's still being rushed, you can go back and you can um, lower the rate. Okay. So we're going to check this out. Ooh, look at that. I'm moving at lightning speed, people. <laughs> That's pretty good. I actually think that, um, you know, I think I can do a voiceover with this and actually make it coherent and people are still understanding what the heck I'm talking about. Um, so that, I think I'm liking the, ooh, check it out. Look at that. I wish I cut like that and that, I wish I cut that fast in real life. Um, so I think I actually like the speed in which I have it right now. So that's 400% faster than the initial one. So 400%, like I said, the initial uh, clip, footage clip was seven minutes. Now I cut it down to a minute and some odd seconds, 45 seconds, okay? So I like that. Alrighty, so now that's the video, okay, part. Now what I'm going to show you guys how to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do a voiceover. So this is the video I know. Okay, you know what? I like it. I like it. I can dig it. People can understand it. They can see what the heck I'm doing. It doesn't look like, you know, crazy. Um, so now I'm going to stay here. Okay, so I'm going to make sure this video clip is highlighted still. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to click right here. And this says record a voiceover. So I'm going to click this. To record, to record, click a clip where you want the voiceover to begin. Awesomeness. So here we go. I want this. I want to voice over right here. So I'm going to click that clip. Okay. And it's actually beeping, as you can tell right there. And then it's actually recording what I want to say. All right. Um, and for the intent of this video, it's actually recording what I'm talking to you guys about, which is not what I want it to do, but this is just uh, as an example, okay? So in a second, I'm going to show you guys how this works, um, but I'm continuing to talk, and as you can see, as I talk, it turns my film footage red, which designates this is the amount of time that I'm talking. Now, if I happen to talk in this voiceover and it's not long enough, I'm gonna have to shorten it, which I'm gonna show you guys right now how to do it. So, let's see. I'm done. I wanted to stop recording, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to click that, okay? And that stops it. Now, I'm going to play project audio while recording. Okay, so play project. Now, let's see. Okay. And make sure that this little red bar right here is at the beginning of my clip, and then I'm going to click my space bar to actually see how that voiceover worked in this video, okay? beeping as you can tell right there and then it's actually recording what I want to say all right um, and for the intent of this video it's actually recording what I'm talking to you guys about which is not what I want it to do but this is just uh, as an example okay so in a second I'm going to show you guys how so you see that it actually did a voiceover over the sped up clip that I did now I forgot to show you guys one thing so let me go back really quickly. After you guys speed up your video, if your video doesn't have any um, any kind of talking, okay? Like I didn't talk, I just showed you guys what I was doing in the video, what supplies I needed. Um, but I did still have some background noise in it because, um, you know, my kids are home, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on 
the little blue thing again and I'm going to go do uh, audio adjustment now all right and audio da, 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 da. and what I want to do is I want to reduce make sure that reduced background noise is at zero that means you can't hear anything and I also want to reduce the audio clip so what I'm doing is I'm taking it down, okay? That doesn't do anything whatsoever to the actual voiceover because the voiceover is another, is a separate entity, okay? So this is just making sure that you can't hear anything of my actual film footage right here, okay? But my, my um, voiceover is still right here, okay? So then I'm going to click done. Now that means there won't be any kind of, how do I say, interference with my voiceover because this will be silent and this will be the voiceover is, is what's going to be shown so that is a really I mean seriously speaking guys it is so stinking easy well my version of it anyway <laughs> is so easy on how to speed up a video and how to do a voiceover so that way you guys can make tutorials process videos whatever you want to call it makeup videos anything um, with iMac and it's really simple like I said because I am lazy and I like to keep things simple and I don't have a lot of time so um, I figured I'd teach you guys how to do this and you know I, I think I've explained it in a, a pretty easy way um, now if you guys have any questions and what I'm talking about didn't make any sense whatsoever <laughs> you can message me or you can comment below and I swear to God I will help you guys as much as I possibly can if you have any other video requests please let me know I have a list of people or a list of video requests that I have to go through and work through and put up um, I have tons of people who've asked me stuff I guess you guys kind of like my teaching style which I'm so flattered by honestly like I said I am just try to keep it simple try to keep it fast and try to keep it like no nonsense because you know I suffer from like ADD CRS uh, and every other you know <laughs> three little word three letter word <laughs> um so yeah guys uh hope you guys enjoyed the video hope it was helpful to somebody um hit me up if you have questions uh video requests comments you name it i'm game um i will talk to you guys later i hope you guys have a great day take care guys talk to you soon bye